Let's meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pavana Sapaknin. Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to be with the breath as continually as you can. We chant every day in praise of the Dharma that it's timeless. Well, in order to find the timeless Dharma, you have to make your practice timeless as well. The problem is that we tend to divide our days up into times. There's a time to eat, time to talk, time to work, time to meditate. But actually all the time can be time to engage in right effort. Anything unskillful comes up in the mind, you want to get rid of it. Anything skillful is not there yet, we want to give rise to it. Every time you breathe in, every time you breathe out, you want to look after the state of your mind and make sure that it's heading in the right direction. And as you do that over time, you find that your practice builds up momentum. As John Fuhrung said, we have to have a teacher inside that's constantly keeping the students in the class working, doing the work they should. Otherwise, when the teacher leaves the room, the kids start running around and throwing spitballs and rubber bands. Nothing gets done. And then the teacher comes back in and they start working again. Well, the work doesn't really get accomplished the way it should. Same way with the mind. You're on top of your mind while you're meditating, but then you let it run around when you're not meditating. The job isn't going to get finished well. You have to realize that the, the law of karma is not a traffic law that is enforced only on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 6. It's 24-7. And so the, the state of your mind is working 24-7 to create karma, so make sure it's creating good karma. As things get more and more continuous, that you stay with the breath all the way in the meditation, and when you get up, you go back to eat, and you get back to the place where you're resting, and then you start meditating again. Okay, you try to keep it on a short leash in the meantime. Now, when when the time comes to sit down, you get right back to work, and things pick up where they left off. You don't have to spend all your time trying to find the animal that you've let off the leash. So keep your mind on a short leash, or make sure, in another in a John Fuang's image, make sure that the teacher is always there reminding you inside. This is what you should be doing. And keep watch over your, your mind to make sure that it is doing what it should be doing. That way your practice, which seems to be stagnating, will pick up some energy, and the practice, which grows and fits and starts, will become more and more continuous. It'll have the kind of momentum that comes when you make sure that your practice is timeless too. Now, it's only then that we have a chance to meet with a timeless Dharma. <laughs>